The beginning of the end for the Wrangell Island woolly mammoths began when the land population of mammoths couldn't immigrate to the island anymore. This caused allopatric speciation, or speciation due to the isolation of a group from the main population. And this is what caused the replication of detrimental genes to spiral out of control. This danger presents itself today in current endangered species such as the panda. Pandas are estimated to have 1,600 individuals living in highly fragmented territories. Believe it or not, humans are helping this harmful phenomenon occur on purpose. You've probably heard that purebred dogs are more prone to health problems. Purebred dogs are more likely to inherit health problems because they are bred to have a high rate of recessive genes. Because breeders desire to have a dog with certain traits, the possibility of inbreeding is greatly increased. According to an article by the Humane Society, in many American Kennel Club dogs, the founding gene pool was less than 50 dogs. For some breeds, it was less than 20 dogs. While organizations have recently made steps to prevent inbreeding from happening, many private breeders still favor profit over the health of the dogs and do not take steps such as DNA testing to prevent the dogs from inheriting genetic diseases. This brings us to conservation today. There are well over 5,000 species of officially endangered or threatened animals on our planet. Today, genetics is taking on an increasingly important role in helping quantify the biodiversity around us and even save some threatened species. Conservation genetics is particularly useful for clarifying whether a wildlife popula population needs special protection as a genetically distinct subspecies. Endangered species that have lost their crucial genetic diversity may be restored to reproductive health. One way genetics is being used is to help endangered African cheetahs. The 10,000 that are left share 99% of their DNA between individuals. The low genetic diversity makes the cheetah population highly susceptible to disease and extinction. By using genetic analysis, breeding projects are able to breed selectively as an attempt to reintroduce genetic variation back into the population.